Broadcast journalism is a lot tougher than it looks. Constant deadlines, public scrutiny, and unless you're in a huge market, well, the pay is not extravagant. But none of that deters the next generation of journalists being cultivated at Davison High School, who are proving to be much more than just an average high school TV station. It's going to be a really big game today, okay? So we're going to try to put up most of our attention on that game, but we still have to give enough attention to that concert. Four days a week, DTV News goes on air with the latest headlines in the Davison community. You're going to have some kids that just throw everything they got into this class, and they're going to go all in, right? And you're going to have other ones that are on the, on the edge a little bit, and you got to bring them in more. And as the final minutes count down, it gets pretty hectic before the cameras are on. It's a little stressful. My legs get all shaky and it's just like this whole like we got this we're gonna do it and then they're like oh my god what if I fail when the show comes live I just kind of do it it's just kind of like a by. blank <laughs> right and then right after I'm done like oh my god I did it <laughs> like it's just kind of autopilot but I, I I just absolutely love it it's so much fun but then things calm down after they sign off Okay, talk, 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 talk. That was a good talk, talk. Talk. <laughs> so calm, collected, like things got done, there was no chaos. It was not crazy in here five minutes before the newscast. It was just so calm. Just make sure you're off. All day. Let's try to make every day like today. Right. One of the biggest misconceptions about TV news is the amount of prep work that's done behind the scenes. Most people think you just show up, you get dressed, step in front of the camera and boom, you're on TV. But that notion couldn't be further from the truth. The toughest thing, I think, is that initial shock of how much we do. If they can handle that first wave of, oh my, we're here, we're here till 11 o'clock at night on a football night. We're here early in the mornings for special projects. I'm staying after school to shoot and edit stories. If they know what the amount of work this goes into it, if they can, if they can handle that, that then they're going to be special. I trust them to go and make the right decisions, go do this. You know, you give them guidance, right? But I trust them to have control of this newscast. And the same can be said about their sports broadcasts as well. You have to be looking up every single offer, every single stat, last year's stats, last year's, you know, coaches. But it's so much more needed because if, you know, if I'm live streaming and I say, oh, AJ Hill has a touchdown. But if I say, wow, AJ Hill with his 100th touchdown in the last two years, it brings a lot more energy to that, you know, that call. This is not your average high school sports broadcast, complete with multi-camera shots, sideline reporting, and a stellar play-by-play -play team. Instead passes it off to G. G from deep, splashes it. G gets an early three here, takes the lead for Davison, seven to six. Especially for sports, a lot more than anything else. People, people want to watch those. When you got good teams like Davison does, thankfully, thankfully we got great teams. It's nice that's to be able to bring everybody team. together because be of one common interest in Davison. And when they're not having fun on the gridiron or the hardwood, DTV News is in the community following the news as it happens. They are creating uh, newscasts and stories at such a, a higher level than what you would anticipate maybe perception-wise that students would create. And, and the communities come to expect that out of them. They expect uh, the same quality out of these students as they would any other newscast or TV station. One of the pivotal times at the station was its work during the Flint water crisis. Her phone was blowing up like a switchboard. Where do I get water? Are you sure I can drink this? What are they telling me? I can't get water. Can you bring water to us? And we went into full, full news gear because every day there was a new press conference. Every time, so I would just look at kids and say, okay, press conference today, three o'clock after school, who can go? We'd grab a camera, we'd grab a kid, we'd go, we'd cover it, we'd put it on the news the next day, and people were tuning in to us to get the latest. More help is also on the way. Back in 2020, the city of Davison passed a $71 million bond to help renovate the school including a brand new DTV News Studio. The same thing that they're going to see in a professional um, broadcasting station, these 17 and 18 year olds are going to have that at their disposal. You couple that with their fire and passion, it's going to be uh, tremendous to see the impact they're going to have on the community as we look to the future. I enjoy that the, the community is actually 
going out of their way to support our work, and it's just the most amazing thing. That was tremendous that the school would even consider us, first of all, you know, to be in that project, and that the people would say, yeah, that's worthwhile. Yeah, what they're doing, that's worthwhile. That means a lot. The plan is to have the students move into the new facilities during the next school year. Also, DTV News' 10-year anniversary special on the Flint water crisis is currently available to watch on their YouTube page. We'll have a link to it on our website at midmichigannow.com.